What has been your approach to launching your campaign for city council? Running for city council in New York is a pretty intimidating and daunting process in general, I think, for anybody. Um, running on the Upper West Side of New York is even more daunting and exciting. The Upper West Side is just such a vibrant, engaged community, um, has some of the highest voter turnout, is such a diverse, wonderful place socioeconomically. Um, so many amazing leaders have just come from there. So from the beginning, we knew that if, you know, by running on the Upper West Side, we had to run the most professional and, and organized campaign. So we kind of spent the entire fall of this year really just organizing. Um, it's a long campaign. The election isn't for about another year and a half, but we wanted to really set out in a methodical way to kind of show the voters on the West Side that you know, we're new, but we're serious. We understand the responsibilities associated with running a campaign, and we want to engage as many people in the community because this is a campaign not about me. This is a campaign fundamentally about the Upper West Side. Okay, it's about the parents there who are worried about overcrowding. It's about the small businesses that are, you know, feeling squeezed and oppressed by the government. And, you know, it's about creating a more livable community for seniors so they can, you know, go up and down Broadway and not feel like, you know, there's just too much traffic or too many headaches and it's just inaccessible. So we've kind of set out to, to break the campaign down into phases, right? So you have very limited spending in this because there's public matching funds. So you can't really create kind of what you see on TV with this massive organization. It's all volunteer based. So what I've been very, very fortunate with is I just have a great network of people who are committed to public service. So I have a, a good group of friends who you know have worked on campaigns in the past who have worked in government in the past who have started businesses and so on who have all diverse different uh, experiences and we've been able to pull together this kind of kitchen cabinet that on a volunteer basis once a week we'll come together and we'll sit down in my apartment and we'll kind of talk about the issues facing the community and how to run this organized. Um, we have brought on one person on a full-time basis who is a longtime friend of mine and is also a former social worker in Harlem and it's interesting because some of the folks were like, you need a political operative to help run your campaign. And I think that's the exact opposite. Like, I've had enough political experience. We have some consultants. We have some people on our team. But I think fundamentally, the one person that we hire who's going to have a big say in how we run things has interacted on a you know social worker basis with so many people in the community. And at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is help people. Mm -hmm. So having somebody at the beginning of a campaign you know, who has that perspective has been, I think, really uh, pretty invaluable for us. So we have a long way to go and it's a shoestring operation, but, you know, it's all about your network. It's all about having a good group of people who really believe in it and are willing to give up Saturday. So, you know, Val's always <laughs> shocked. She was like, how do you convince these people to come give up their Saturdays? I said, I don't know, but as long as they keep coming, we're going to keep running. So we've been lucky. Yeah.